I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Ekedalen extendable table. This is the one here, so you can open it this way. The extending part is in, hidden inside the table. Slide it in, put it down and lock it under the table. Once you want to open it up, unlock it under the table, lift it up one side and slide it back in. There it is, and now I'm going to show you how to assemble this IKEA Ekedalen extendable table. Let's do it. And you're getting two boxes with this table. Uh, useful tools in here, bigger and smaller electric screwdriver, you're going to need a hammer. All the links for the tools are in the description. I'm just going to open both boxes and show you what you going to work with, how much stuff you're getting. Good tip, leave the bigger box on the floor if you have a wooden floor, so you're not going to scratch it the floor while you're assembling your furniture. This is the second box, included the legs and some other parts, just going to put it everything on the side. A lot of screws that indicate quite a lot of work with this desk. Manual instructions you're not going to need if you follow this video over here. And here we have a first back with the screws. I like to organize them, I find it easier to work with all the screws because some of them they are similar sizes and shapes. So like this you have a better idea, I don't do that many mistakes while you're assembling. There is another two bags, one with the brackets and another one with the less screws. Let's open it all up and organize it on the side so we, we have a good idea what is coming. There it is, that's all the screws we're getting. This is the smaller bag. This is the bigger bag with the brackets. And we're starting with the tabletop. So one side is white, one side is plain. We're gonna work on the plain side first. We're gonna need those screws and we're gonna place them into the holes on the top of the desk. And there's gonna be three holes on the side, on the middle. Just secure them in till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. Otherwise we're gonna have a problem to connecting the extending part of the table. Exactly the same on the other side, just three holes on the middle. So there is another two holes after that, but we're using those three holes on the middle. There is another hole on each side, but we're gonna use those three on the middle. Now we're gonna work with those two panels. They have kind of rail on the middle. So position them exactly as I did here. So they're gonna go on those screws, which we just did it here. And exactly the same on the other side. Watch out which side you're putting where. One side they have and the holes for the brackets. So the holes for the brackets is coming where is those three holes on the side. Exactly the same hole for the brackets here and three holes on the edge of the tabletop at the bottom. So that's the line you need to have it here. Now we're gonna have those locks and each lock gonna go with the arrow positioned to the screw or facing down right to the tabletop. So this way. It's important to put the arrow in the right position, otherwise the lock not going to come in properly. So it's a three locks for each of the panels. Twist the lock to the right side to lock it in. Exactly the same on the other side. Three locks locking the panel with the tabletop. Place the locks in an arrow positioned in the right way, facing down in this case. There it is, all three of them. And we twist them to the right side. This electric screwdriver, extremely useful tool. This one have an adjustable torque, so you're not gonna overrun the locks or screws. You just adjust the torque, depend how hard you wanna go on the screws or locks or whatever you're drilling. This is a combination of drill and a screwdriver as well. Now we're gonna take those two panels we're going to work with those longer screws and we're going to place two screws for the each of the panel. There is the 
those, those plastics quite hard to place the screws in so just put something under the front there is a the small piece you can use it for that just place it under the front so it's stable and you can secure those screws properly so two screws on the side so now we're gonna place those stoppers this kind of screw is gonna stop the table when you're opening and closing so then we're gonna go over that's the stopper in the frame now we're gonna take those two small we're building kind of frame now between between those panels which we just did the screws so position it to the right side you're gonna have those opening on the on the edges so position them in the correct way have a look where is the locks so you see the locks on those panels there on the outer side now we're not gonna need those two smaller panels and those ones they just have a wooden plug so two wooden plugs on each side of those two panels so now we're gonna connect them together so just place the slimmer panels into the holes on the side panels find all the holes together and attach it together you see those bigger panel which they are on the floor now they are ready to go so the screws are on the inner side this is the last small panel this is the smaller one than those two we did just now and this one have two wooden plugs on each side as well the one go gonna go on the side of the frame which we just built and now one wooden plug on each side of this frame one so two on one side two on the other side so one for each panel and you see those wooden plugs going to the opposite hole where is the locking locking uh, the hole for the locks now we can put it this frame together so the side panels coming in place the second one in I connect the frame together so this is the frame for the extension for this desk now we're gonna need the locks and exactly the same we position the locks exactly to the screw so the arrow on the lock facing the screw always where is the arrow on the lock there is the opening in the lock so it's coming nicely into the head of the screw now we twist all the locks to the right side so we lock the connection on each of the locks so we got four one on each side now we have those brackets kind of u-shaped brackets with the screws and we're gonna place them into the frame watch out if everything you did so far is on the right side so we have the frame on the right side everything is exactly as you see it here otherwise you're gonna go a bit funny later on if you're gonna change it anything here make sure the locks are on the same side and everything this is the last panel and the holes are at the bottom where is the sm small one coming that's the opening there you see and now those holes are matching nicely for the brackets on one side on the middle for the small panel and here on the other side exactly the same for the bracket the hole two holes for the brackets place them in and we secure them with the two screws for each of the brackets other side exactly the same find the, find the holes place it in and secure it with the two screws this is the smaller screwdriver extremely useful as well for smaller screws and smaller spaces the battery lasting forever as well if you like to see what i'm using all the links for the tools are in the description here two slim panels we're gonna secure it with the two screws from under so just turn the frame upside down and go under the frame with those small panels and secure it from the top with those small screws one on one side one on the other side and exactly the same for the other one two small screws place the panel from under hold it with one hand place the screws on one side and on the other side and secure it with the screwdriver if you're lucky like i am here you have electric one and you don't need to work too hard here we can position the top and slide the extending part in into the rail there's those plastics they're coming into the rail on each side so slide it in all the way that's how it works in there lift it up slightly and we can go over so we can place now the another part of the stopping screws one is in the frame and one is going to the to the desk 
so they once you're gonna open it up they're gonna touch each other and not gonna let you go further so they're kind of stopping screws there that's how it's gonna work one on one side another one on the other side now we're gonna need those long screws and we're gonna secure those sides to the tabletop two screws on each of the panel on one side and two screws on the other side just place them in and secure it as I mentioned this electric screwdriver fantastic tool big help with any DIY project or kind of assembly furniture assembly like in this case as a, and you can find all the links for the tools I'm using in the description if you're interested and now we take this small panel here on the side and the holes you see the smaller hole on one side and the bigger hole on the other side so the bigger hole gonna be on the top that's where the head of the screw is gonna go and we're gonna go in those three holes here but before that we're gonna fit those brackets here just position the panel in the right way so the bigger holes gonna be on the top now we're gonna need four of these screws so we're gonna secure one bracket on the left, one bracket on the, la on the right and for the each bracket we're going to use two screws here. Secure them in on one side, other side, find the holes, place it in and secure it with the screws as well. Now we can attach the front panel. So as I mentioned the bigger opening is on the top. So the head of the screw is going to come nicely in. Find the holes for the brackets and secure it with another four screws of so two screws for each of the metal bracket on the other side now we're gonna place these plastic kind of stoppers that's gonna that's just basically a stopper for the extending parts it's not gonna bang into the desk on the edges and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side two of these plastics with the with the kind of locking the gray locking plastic is gonna lock the desk in place once you open the desk but I'm gonna show you that in a moment just place those plastics first in and secure this um, lock with the two screws open all the open the extending part and we're gonna place three screws into the into those holes if you position it right you're gonna have the bigger opening on the top with this panel just place those three screws in and secure them with the screwdriver. Don't go crazy here, you don't want to overrun the uh, screws through the other side. As I mentioned, this electric screwdriver is extremely useful, but if you push it hard, it may end up on the other side in some cases. Now we have uh, legs, you're gonna have four legs, and uh, two of them, they are different than the other. You see those have the square cut, and here is kind of round shape on the middle so we're gonna work with the round shape first there's different screws for them so don't mix them up so you have a bit longer and a shorter screws and we're gonna work first with the shorter screws for the curved legs the longer ones gonna go for the square ones so smaller screws with this kind of tube nut which is coming into the hole the round part is facing the hole the flat part is at the back and that's how it's gonna work basically the screw gonna go through the hole into those two holes you just place it in in the right position that's mean the holes are facing the holes in the leg so secure those screws through the through the like nut tube there inside On the other side we have a small plastic cover for the legs so that's a good thing if you have a wooden floor you're not gonna scratch your wooden floor in there now we can attach those round ones and they coming on this side of the of the desk where is this part on the other side gonna go the square one so here is going the round legs and we place one washer on each of the of the screws and one nut on each of the screws so there's two washers and two nuts per leg secure it with the tube key which I can provide in the back 
exactly the same for the other leg place it in watch out when you position these legs if you're on the right side so just check it out where i'm putting it you put it on the other side it's not gonna work so uh, make it right secure the screw uh, secure the nuts with the with the tube key uh, tie them up both and then check the previous one because sometimes when you tie the second one that the, the first one is still a bit open now we can do the other side and this is the square legs you see the cut is gonna be squared I'll show you in a second and we're using the longer screws here so this is the long nut which is coming into the hole with the two holes and we place those longer screws in that's the square cut on the leg here on the both so don't mix them up with the with the other the round shape so here other nut coming in with the two holes place it in the right position so the holes are exactly on the holes in the in the leg otherwise you know the not going to be able to place that screw in other side the cover on the leg so just two plastic just place them in good details well done ikea this time okay place the legs in on this side so you see if you have the smaller screw there or you mix the screws and you mix the legs you're not going to be able to push them through the brackets because here the opening is bigger than on the other side as you have the extending table so place those uh, square ones to the right side two nuts two washers and secure it with a tube key exactly the same on the other side washers nuts and secure it don't go crazy crazy here but make sure uh, this is nice and tight connection over time probably this uh, can open slightly so don't throw the key sometime I don't know maybe in a year time when the table will become wobble a little bit just just tighten the nuts and it's gonna be fine again now the table is done we can turn it upside down just watch out do it slowly and this is how it is you open the table and before we place the extending part in you're gonna have to attach this small piece of wood here on the side with the two screws just place those screws in and secure it through the predial holes on the middle and this long one gonna come on the side and we're gonna secure this one with the four screws the opening on the holes is this is the bigger opening you're gonna have the smaller holes on the other side so go for the bigger holes don't go over the edge just go gently there here plastic lock that's gonna lock the table when the table is open I'm gonna show you that in a moment now we can open the table place the extending part so it's sliding under the under the top just slide it in push it down open the lock push it down and lock it in place there it is once you finish unlock it lift it up slide it out and slide it into the desk into the table under once you finish all your guests gone you can close it and you have a nice small desk and this is it this is how you assemble ikea ekedalen extending table Hope you enjoyed the video guys, if yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always, you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day. And tell me if I don't look, I need to look at that lens, if I don't look at that lens, remind me, just do like this. I'm gonna show you cut, 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 and this is this, this is this, <laughs> cut, 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 no, 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 no. Cut is just for camera, but you don't you don't stop. I'm gonna say stop, then you stop. Yeah. When I say cut, don't don't stop. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. No. <laughs> okay. If I do, if I don't look at the lens, just do like this. Uh, take two. Start. I'm gonna show you how to. This mic is jumping up. I'm gonna show you. How to...